you don't really understand sometimes what a terrible burden it is to know some of the things that I know. To try to wake people up and impart this knowledge to them. And find out that they just have walls built in front of them. Good morning, fellow saints of the Most High, my brothers and sisters in Christ that are out there throughout the whole world. How are you? I love you. I pray for you. Every day I pray for you guys. You know, for about as long as I can remember now, since it's been well over a decade, I've been sounding the alarm on the news, you know, as far as its illegitimacy. And it's just painful to still see people running around reacting to these psychological operations that these Kabbalists, pieces of trash, keep plastered all over their televisions, okay? I don't get it, guys. Like, how many fake stories do we have to reveal to you guys? Why, why is it that we... Is it just that you're that brainwashed? That the thought of things being so scripted and fake is just, is just impossible for you to grasp? The, the conditioning, the brainwashing, desensitizing, it, it's, it's just... It's got you that twisted in your mind that you can't see all of these people left and right in mainstream work together through their secret societies, secret handshakes, secret symbols, Kabbalist bracelets and they all deceive you those of you that actually still pay attention to the news the news give me a break the brainwash, let's call it what it is, saints. The brainwash, reject the brainwash, rebuke the brainwash, get away from it. Fox News is not the angel in disguise. Everybody thinks Fox News is the only one who pushes the truth. Fox News pushes the truth. No, they don't. Fox means 666. Yes, F-O-X are all sixes and representative of numerology. Fox means 666 in your face. Megan Fox, the inverted man who pretends to be a woman. That's right, F-O-X. Fox, 666. Guys, Everything that comes off that television is to manipulate your mind to get you emotionally attached to their psyops and to ultimately keep you from the truth. So when you continuously ingest that garbage and then you're going to come out on social media and you're going to regurgitate that garbage. All you're doing is helping spread the confusion, helping to push the psychological operations, and inevitably, you're helping nobody, including yourself. Every single story on mainstream media is scripted. Every single one, without exception, no, that story that you are so emotionally invested in is not the exception. I promise you this, it's not the exception. So stop getting emotionally invested in garbage. Stay focused on the kingdom, stay focused on the Messiah. Stay focused on your obedience to him. Continuously pray and seek his face. In all that you do, be a representative of him. Carry yourself a way in which he will be pleased with you. 
very simple. And how do we do that? Well, we stop sinning, willfully sinning. We're all sinners, but we, we don't willfully sin anymore. We fight against it. We rebuke it. We push it away. We deny it. And every time that we do that, we are rewarded through our obedience. I promise you, because I am living that example right now. And many others that I know have the same testimony. It's not a coincidence, guys. There are no coincidences. So please, you know, people have a hard time with my boldness sometimes because I'm harsh. I get it. Yes, I am. Let me tell you something. Let me explain why. We're way past, way late in the game to be sugarcoating and, 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 and tiptoeing around people's feelings. Your feelings are going to get hurt when you're confronted with the truth. That's inevitable. Okay? Christ, Jesus, Yahusha, Hamashiach offended everybody in those days. The Pharisees despised him. That's why they had the Romans crucify him. Okay? So, if you are spreading the truth today, you're going to be offending people. People have got to understand their feelings are not nearly or even on the same level of as important as the truth. So, get offended, get upset, think Sean's mean and all this other stuff. Listen, I'm passionate. I'm on fire for the king. I am laser focused on the kingdom my faith has never been stronger father Yah has never ever blessed me so much and confirmed everything that I've ever shared with you guys to be true so if I offend you I won't apologize for that because you need to be offended I won't apologize for it. I will tell you this, I still do love you and I care for you, regardless how deceived you are or how brainwashed you are. I've got to call you out on it. And yes, I do that publicly on these forums. This forum, this is the only one that I utilize. Yes, I do that because I love you. Because listen, if I didn't love you, then guess what? I wouldn't care what you believed or thought. I, I, listen, I'm secure in my salvation. I don't, I don't have any, I do have fear and trembling, just like we always are supposed to, of the Most High. That fear is, is how we convert it into respect. Because we fear Him, we respect Him, and we love Him, right? So that's why we follow His commandments. That's why we don't willfully sin anymore. That's why if we do slip and do something, we catch ourselves early and we immediately repent on it, okay? That's the difference between being truly born again and just being a believer who believes that Jesus Christ, Yahusha, Hamashiach, came to the world, lived a sinless life, and died a horrendous death for our sins, but then they do nothing with it. That is not a born again believer. When you are born again, there is a transformation. There is a literal transformation in who you are you are no longer that person that person died and you come out of that born again that's why we use the phrase that's why Christ Yahusha used the phrase to be born again it means that you're dying to your initial self the sinful vessel in which we're born in you died to that and you are born again and lifted up with the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit dwells in you which means that when you love him you keep his commandments. This fake Messiah, Jesus, that is being pushed through mainstream is the lawless one, FYI. If you believe, you can just believe and you don't have to have a transformation or you don't have to repent of your sins or you don't have to be obedient and you can continue to live your life the way you want to live it in a fleshly manner and you're still saved, I have terrible, terrible news for you because you are deceived. So family, shut off the television. Okay, shut it down. Let's keep our eyes and our hearts and our minds focused on the kingdom. And praise Yahuwah. I love you guys. Be well and blessed. Let's keep 
moving this forward as we get closer to the end, guys. Have a blessed day. The lion will lie down with the lamb. There will be no more killing or destroying. And the voice of weeping shall be heard no more.